hi in this video i am going to tell you that how to download python and then install and then finally run a program right so you have to follow me and uh, i will show you that how you can uh, do the whole process so the firstly what you have to do is you have to download the python so this is the url that you can uh, copy from here so let me copy so control c or you can click right click and then copy and now you have to go to the browser this is my google chrome and here i have pasted right now i will press the enter and what you have to do is here when you will click on download button if you will directly download this python then it is 32 uh, bit so if your pc is of 64 uh, bit then uh, maybe there would be some problem so what you have to do is you have to go from download to windows right and now from windows you if your pc is of 64 uh, bit then uh, you have to download this particular file 8664 executable installer right and if that is 32 bit only and then you can install this so uh, you have to uh, click over here so now this is going to download but uh, i have already downloaded right so here you can also see that 64 right so i have already downloaded so i am not going to download right now so what you have to do is when you will download it you will find that this particular icon and uh, this particular file uh, will be downloaded into into the download folder directly if your path is already selected as a downloads right so something like this would be in your pc and what you have to do is you have to double click on uh, this python actually i have already installed right so you have to install this file into your file into your pc so for example i am going to sorry no need to uh, go through this process uh, right now i have no need but uh, what you have to do is you have to install this uh, uh, file so this is actually the python file python uh, executable file which you have to download uh, uh, and that i have given you the tips that how to download and then after you have to install by double clicking on it so once that would be installed you can check it in your control panel so now i am going to control panel install programs here i have python this 64 bit right so in your pc if that would be installed perfectly then you can check that uh, python software into your control panel program files right from there you would able to uh, notice that yes uh, you would be sure about that uh, the python software has been installed into your pc right so now i am done with the installation process now you have to check into your cmd command prompt whether the python is installed or not so here you have to write down python python once you will click on uh, the python then you will have this particular message that the python is not recognized as an internal or external command so in the sense the python software is existing in your uh, uh, pc computer but couldn't able to find the path that where that is located right means your computer doesn't know that where that is located system actually operating system don't know where your uh, exe file has been located so what you have to do is you have to go to c control uh, sorry local disk c and in c there would be users and now you have no need to go to default and public you have to go to now for example my name is ramzan and you have to go uh, to your pc name that you have uh, choose already maybe your pc name would be dell or php uh, hp or maybe your own name so here once you will click you have to go to app data right so you have to click on app data then you have to go to local then finally you have to go to programs 
and finally python and inside that that python this is mentioned that this is the uh, uh, latest version so according to the version that folder is made inside of that uh, folder you would find out the python actually the exe file which is the software python.exe now you have to copy this path so once you will click over here here what you have when you have clicked so now you have to copy this whole path from here control c and now you have to go to environment set the environment variable here you have to write environment variable and this is edit the system environment variable now you have to click here and here is environment variable and now uh, you have to create new environment variable what new so here you have to write path path and here you have to paste so i have pasted and one thing you have to keep in mind is you have to put semicolon semicolon at last so this is semicolon right means once you have entered the path pasted the path of that exe file at last you have to put semicolon so once you have put the semicolon then you have to click on okay then okay then okay and now you can check the on the command prompt but it may be that your command prompt was already opened if that would be already open you have to close the, the command prompt and then reopen the command prompt so cmd now again i have uh, opened and now i would check python and now you can find uh, see that the python is inside my system the system actually now recognize the uh, python software so this is 64 bit on window 32 and everything has been written here right version is also mentioned here so now uh, you can be you are sure about that uh, the python is installed into your pc right so now i would like to uh, i would like to make you sure that uh, how you can run a program so i want to create a file so for example example dot py as you know that the python file has the extension py so this is the python file now this has been created so i want to write something here print hello world how are you right so i have written this now you have to save this and then i have to run this so again you have to go to cmd now what you have to do is you have to write python and uh, the name of your file so what was that example.py so once you will press enter sorry here is some error sorry the problem was that we have to find the file path that where our file is located then after we can able to run so here we have to exit right exit this and now we are at our name and inside that as you know that i have saved my file on uh, desktop so i have to go to desktop firstly so how i would uh, go to the desktop firstly i have to uh, see the directory dir so here is my desktop you know in uh, here is desktop so cd desktop and i am into the desktop now so now i can able to run my file example that sorry firstly i have to write python and then example dot py and you can now see the output hello world how are you right so this was the output of my file and uh, you can also do uh, all the things all the possible uh, things that uh, for example you can solve any mm, expression <coughs> addition subtraction and everything that you want to do you can also take the input by, from the user 
so that is also possible so that's how you can do the whole stuff of the python in the cmd only so that's it so please subscribe this channel for more videos and like this video and also share with the others so thank you thanks for watching